Here we are again, once more, into the breach. And I said after I finished the last run that I'd like to play this whenever I have some downtime. And there appears to be some downtime in releases at the moment. So here's what we're going to do. I was thinking, well, maybe I just want to jump to, like, one of the new squads. And, like, I'm tempted to do that. But I also kind of want to play through everything in this game at some point. And uh, maybe this is just going to be a journey to do that. So we're going to go basically in order, going to unlock things as we go. Um, I will put a little bit of extra focus here on what some of these unlocks are. So for example, with the Rusting Hulks, we've got Overpowered. Overpower your grid twice by earning or buying power when it's full. Cool, that's kind of my strat anyways. Deal 12 damage with Electric Smoke in a single battle. Yeah, that could be all right. Electric Smoke, I think, is... Yeah, these guys. Uh, the aerial bombs get dropped over top. And then, perfect battle. Take no mech or building damage in a single battle. Repair damage is still damage. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll see about that. Also, another rule for this uh, series is that we're going to randomize the time traveler. Okay? So, uh, let's see what we got. We got Ralph. <laughs> okay. That's cool, I guess. Thanks for that. Okay, so what? Are, how do these guys play? Well, uh, this guy has one damage. He hops over, he puts them in smoke, and does a little bit of damage. The rocket artillery, so he smokes behind him, and then lands for two damage and pushes. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then the pulse mech pushes everyone around him. All right, this should be this should be fun. We'll keep their standard colors, you know, and I'm not, I'm not going to rename them. We're, we're cool. Let's go. We've got all of the advanced content clicked. Um, we'll keep this on hard. If I if I start to feel like I'm really good at the game, <laughs> sure, we'll go on fair. But for right now, uh, let's stick on hard. That was, a, I think, a pretty adequate challenge on the first run. And as, the, as our units get more complex, I'm naturally going to make some mistakes, okay? And then I'll probably be punished. <laughs> Great. I can attempt the islands in any order. Vec difficulty will scale depending on how many islands you completed. I mean, I'm kind of like... It's interesting because... Vec difficulty will scale. But there's some interesting things about these islands, right? Like here, you can push guys into acid. Here, you can push them into water, potentially. Here, uh, there's some water. But then there's... There's, uh, there's some fire that you can get into. So, like... I'm not sure the, the appropriate strat there. So for now, let's just do them in uh, canon order. All right. If you're from the future, you'll find our islands even further back in time than you expected. If not for the Vec, I'd have loved to give you a tour of the old Earth relics. Okay. Well, armored train or destroy two Vec egg sacs, protect the coal plant, and we have air support. Big fan of the air support, obviously. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, there was also a recent patch. They rebalanced a couple things. Um, it's a lot to get into, but just of uh, just something to be aware of. Okay, so we got to destroy two Vec egg sacs. Now, what's going to happen here? These guys are going to launch some eggs. That's going to be annoying. Uh, here, I could obviously get a kill, but I do have to keep in mind that, like, these guys are probably going to come in and target this, right? These scorpions. Um... So how am I going to deal with that? <laughs> Great question. Fantastic. Because they're probably going to come here too. And I feel like these guys... Um, okay, so he's just got the stinger. That's fine. And he's going to web. That's how, These actually are not... These are not too bad. Because here I could just shoot over. And then I'll maybe come up here and look for pushes or something like that. Okay. Let's begin. God, I love this game. I, I, I just love it. Okay, this is sick. So that that sack is going. That sack is going. Uh, that is excellent news. This guy's actually not doing anything. And this guy is just attacking us here. I can... Now, okay. This is a actually an interesting thing. If I do this... Nothing happens to that building. Right? This guy's going to get killed on the next... Uh, go around. Um, 
this guy will still be alive, and he is providing what? All other Vec will explode on death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. Oh. Well, I don't love that, because that means that when this explodes, this thing's going down. So. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a slight change in plans, but it might not be too bad. If I were to go here, I could rocket this guy, kill him. He still takes the damage, which is nice. He's not doing anything anyways. Um, then I could bounce here. This guy's going to go to this tile. These two guys will die in the next turn. This guy will still be alive. And then I leap here and kill him, right? Like, that seems great on paper. And in my, in my mind sack. So you do that. We do this. Okay. That's one sack down. Another sack's gonna go. Let's begin. So Ralph, we didn't talk about this, but Ralph's um, bonus is that he gets extra XP on kills. And uh, that's fine by me. Okay, now we have a little bit of a situation on our hands. A little bit of a situation. Uh, this guy is just gonna shoot. So I, I, in theory, I could, I could kind of ignore him. Uh, that's an option. Our biggest issue is gonna be this dude, right? But I'm seeing maybe I could do something like this. Whoops, knock this back. Okay, so then he's sitting there. He would still hit this, though. But at that point... Oh, yeah, interesting. See, if I came here, then, and used this guy to knock these two, this guy's actually going to hit the building, which we don't want for A, our grid defense, and B, our, our goal, or our overall uh, goal. Um... Okay, so we're gonna need to we're gonna need to we're gonna need to think about this for uh, a hot second. Oh, okay, we could do this with the rocket mech. We hit this guy, he dies, right? And then this dude could come over here and even just uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. We're laughing. Okay, watch this. Observe. Boom. Airplane over here. Flies across, smokes, cancels the attack, and then I come down here, knock this guy up, and now he's gonna die from this, and we're blocking. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. We are gonna take some damage, so like, one of those uh, special unlocks with this squad is to have like a perfect run, essentially. Um, which would mean we can't block anything either, so... It's a little bit more complex. Environment's going first, so that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Me no care. <laughs> Why do I talk like this? I have no idea. Um, how do we want to play this? There's a couple ways we can kill this guy. Right? If I want to make this guy useful over here, our jet mech, then he pretty much... He pretty much has to go for this guy. But then he won't even die, you know? And then... And then what? Right? Like, I could knock this guy back. I could do this. We knock him back. This guy comes over here. Knocks him over here. And then the block kills him. That's cool and fine and good. This guy's gonna die. And then this guy kills here. I mean... I'm into it. Uh, one thing I'm one thing I'm definitely going to need to be considering is this guy's smoke behind him because I'm going to forget that a lot. I'm going to forget that a lot. Always remember, environment goes first, so when we see this attack, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! This is this is special smoke. This doesn't just cancel the attack. This also does an additional damage, doesn't it? Is that what's going on there? I think so. I think so. All right. We got 
we got a couple enemies left. Uh, I think this has to happen, because that's the only way I can get there. Um, pulse mech, or sorry, uh, jet mech, I don't think is going to be able to do a whole lot, but uh, you could do this. Oh, here. Oh, shit. Okay, that's what's happening. So, the passive effect from Storm Generator is causing all smoke to deal damage every turn. That's insane. I didn't even notice that. That is really cool. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's another way here, but... Just looking at their, their mobility, I, I don't see it happening. Unless... I mean, okay. I could do... No, the only way I can deal with this guy is by pushing, so... I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. I'm trying to, like, min-max experience and stuff, but it's not that important. Okay, so that guy's fine, this guy's fine, and we're gonna win. Pretty good opener, guys. Pretty good opener. I'm happy with it. Excellent. Both objectives secured. We do want to overcharge the power grid at some point. Pretty solid. Pretty solid start. Uh, now, if I wanted to see... Oh, there we go. Nice. So, overpower twice. 12 damage with electric smoke in a single battle. This is probably only going to be possible when we get stronger enemies, because they're going to need more health to, like, tank that much electric smoke damage over time. And take no mech or building damage in a single battle. I think it's doable. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue... Hmm. We're going to continue trying to get power. Now... Killing five or fewer enemies, I will try to do, but that's going to get really difficult because not killing them is actually quite challenging. Protecting the coal power plant, that's our top priority. I'm more concerned about that than I am about the, the stars. So let's go here. Okay, so we've got a, a hornet. We've got an alpha hornet. All right. Is there an option I can turn on that just shows me... All the stuff, all the time. I don't think so, eh? Alright. Uh, so, and then we've got a scorpion. Oh, actually, if I hold... Oh, there it is. Control. Okay, that's right. So, control will show me this. So, they're a Weber. We've got the stinger attack, and then we've got the two attack. So, this guy, I guarantee, is coming up here, right? And if he is, I want to be able to to smoke him. Um, we can keep him alive for a while, but he'll take some smoke damage for sure. I can play this guy over here. Or actually, let's do this. And what I'm hoping for is that we can come in here and kind of push around and maybe block this off. And then if they want to pursue this avenue, we're going to have rockets to block, and he's got, like, full range of motion there. Let's see what we can do. Nice, we got a little time pod. Let's go, baby. Okay, so he didn't take the approach I thought he was going to. In a way, that's worse. Mm, we can make it work. I mean, this is pretty good. If we come here, this whole area is now blocked, and they, they can't even get through there. This guy kills him, and then we smoke that. I'm cool with it. Is there anything you could do here? I mean, I could have pushed him, but he might as well use more movement. So, I feel like that's fine. Okay, a couple little hornets. Not a huge deal yet. 
Okay. So. Um, I have to protect the building. So those guys, like, if they're, if they're going to attack buildings, I've got to go for it and try to cancel them, right? So there's one there. I, I actually probably move here to k kill him. I, I actually, if I wanted to... Actually, he doesn't... He's not going to move on that. It's it's the tile that he hits gets moved, right? Yes. Okay. So we have to kill that, I think. And then here, we just push off. He's also going to block, which is great. Alright. So I can only kill two more. Which doesn't leave us a ton of flexibility, but we were able to get a block there. Ooh, it, neat. Very neat. So he's going to attack. Um, this guy could get killed from the rocket mech. Me pushing here doesn't accomplish anything. Um, there's a couple of ways we could we could do this. If I came here, I could smoke this guy. But I wouldn't mind blocking here. So maybe I would do this. Jump over. He gets smoked. He's going to take two damage because you'll smoke on the next one. Uh, well, actually, is that the best? Uh, you know what? So maybe what we do is we hop over there. He smoked. We get a block, right? Instead of killing this one, I kill this one to free up our our web. But then that's actually not even as necessary. Because we could just dodge this attack. I'm just trying to think of how I can do this with two kills or less here. Uh, that's going to be tough. So we either kill this guy or kill this guy. He's free. And then... One, two, three, four. I could do something like this to get a block. But then I'm still, like, I'm still killing or, or dealing with, with both of these. You know what I mean? Is there a way I can block both? I mean, I, I could... Uh, if I hop into this, that's that's a bit of a problem, because then I'm going to take that, that smoke damage, right? I guess so. Okay, let's do it this way. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. Oh, actually, I probably should have moved my other dude first. Uh, I can I can use our reset here, but the reason I say that is because now if I come in to push, uh, I'm actually tanking damage here, and then this guy will die. So that's fine. We can use our we can use our reset. Um, so we kill here first. Right? Yes. So he's free. We come here and push. So he's in the smoke. Come here and push. I actually, I wonder if I should have tried to let these guys all spawn and maybe just go for that, that perfect here. Um... The problem is, because we can only kill so many, like, blocking these is super valuable. Okay, that looks like a big boy. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, less fine. That is less fine. I guess I have this. Is that letting me do that? 
How much damage is this guy dealing? One. Huh. I just need to do this turn. So I can't move, but I can still technically move because I have my attack. Is that what that's telling me? That's that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Um, so then I have to deal with this guy. And I honestly think my, my best... Well, actually... Yeah, I think we can do this. Okay, hold on. So you're gonna jump there. That I know. Now, this guy is going. Okay, so we do have to be careful because I can only get. I can only kill one here. And number three is going to not kill number four because he's only dealing one, so that's fine. Okay. So then, what I'm thinking is I could do something like this. Knock him here. Okay. Uh, five will kill three. And then I just basically move out of the way here. Right? I'm thinking yes. Or I, I could even just stand here, but... It's irrelevant. I think we're in the clear, my dear. All right. Oh, what an excellent start. Okay. This is going very, very well. So now I'm only two away from overcharging twice, getting that grid defense up. We got the time pod. Ooh, a pilot. Camilla Vera. Mech unaffected by webbing and smoke? Would that not just be absolutely amazing with this group of mechs and a core? Okay. Uh, now... Who's in this? Who's in the you know what a lot? I'm I'm thinking okay, we're gonna do a little a little shuffle here. So I feel like you're gonna get a lot of kills. So I'm gonna put Ralph in there. Um, unaffected by webbing and smoke, I actually kind of feel like putting Camilla here because then a if they get webbed, we can still move. And B, we can fly into our own smoke. And then, uh, you have more experience. I'll put you here, but your kills are going to be fewer. Now, uh, we could put a core in here and get a, a, a self-shield when we use this. Pretty powerful stuff. We could also get a, a nice little health boost, um, there. I actually would love the plus one range. But I think just to kind of make this unit a little more valuable, I'll install it here and we'll go self shield. And I'll totally remember to use that every time. Okay, let's go. So now, what do we want? Tidal waves, kill at least seven enemies, protect the emergency battery. See, I like that. And with tidal waves, we have help in killing stuff, so. I, I feel pretty decent about this approach. Okay, hornets. No webbing, webbing, webbing. And here, like, I kind of want them to come and target me for webs. You know? Um, we'll stick back here because we have this whole range. And then, uh, if there's a chance... This is a this is this is a tricky position. This is a tricky position here, because if there's a chance that this hornet comes up and attacks us, then I could maybe pop around it and knock it out here or something. Uh, I I 
think my gut's telling me I, I, I should put these guys here instead. Because th if, if this Hornet goes here, the Rocket Mech can kill, so that's fine. And then this blocks access to the emergency batteries. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I could get there. I don't think so. No, that would be a little too sick. Um, but what I can do... So enemies emerge last. Uh... Yeah. Mm. Trying to trying to like make use of everyone is is tough, um, but I'm gonna try. So like Pulse Mech could do this, right? Hits the guy over here. He doesn't take any damage, but then he'll take one there. Um, that's all well and good. Oh, actually, interesting. So. My my initial my initial gut thought was we take Rocket Mech here and then we would knock Rocket like uh, this guy here two and he'd be sitting there no damage to this right I come over here I hit this that's cool this guy's there these guys aren't hitting each other we block a thing that's all well and good this guy goes here and on the next turn uh, this guy dies which is great which is great. However, another alternative thought process is I do something like this. This guy dies. Okay. That opens up this path. So then I could go one, two, three, four with the pulse mech. Pulse into this. But the problem is, the problem is, uh, how do I use the jet mech, right? Uh, jet mech is going to have some some problems if I don't do that. Because if I bounce, or if I jump into this section here, then my... Then I can't do anything. Or I have to take damage on a push either way, right? Either I'm blocking this with the jet mech and I'm taking damage. Or not. So I, I think I... I think by way of just being effective with all units, I have to do this. Plus, it's going to give me the bubble, which is kind of sick. How much damage does this guy do? Just one, eh? Yeah, see, like... This is where that range would come in so handy, because I could hop both of those. But that that's the, that's the dream right now. That's not the reality. All right, so that's cool. Jet mech goes there. That guy's gonna die on the next turn because of the smoke. The smoke actually happens before the environment. Good to know, good to know. And now I've got a bubble to play with too. We are gonna have four enemies out here. Really hoping some stay on that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. the alpha stayed. That's absolutely the best thing you could ask for, right? This guy, we could just shield. We could just take that, like, as an option. That's something, I guess. Um, I wonder if I try to go for like the, the perfect here, where we don't take any damage. Because that would mean I don't really want to block with our guys. Uh, but I could I could unlock this guy and then block with that bubble as an option. So here's one thing we could do. Rocket mech hits there, kills that. That's cool. This guy's free. He comes down here. He hits that guy. But it doesn't really accomplish anything. Because he's going to take one damage. He's going to take one damage. And uh, that's not good enough. Right? The other option <laughs> is I just pop here, right? Push him there. He blocks and and dies, which is good. I do need to kill quite a few more, though. So, like, blocking might not be in my best interest. Um, 
Yeah, blocking might not be in my best interest. Other alternative is we do this. And then because I'm flying, I can actually come over here and smoke across. Then, then we're not blocking. We're still canceling this, and this guy will still get to emerge. Uh, or I use the emerge to kill instead. Right? Because how many enemies do I have here? I need to kill one, two, three, four. That'll take me to five. I need two enemies to actually spawn to even have a chance at this. That answers that question. So I need them to spawn. Which means I have to tank this damage right now. <laughs> which is fine, I think. Like, we have the bubble, right? So that, that part's all well and good. But yeah, doing the math, all of these need to spawn because the ne next turn's our last turn. Okay, so if that's the case, we're going to do this. Oh, but I'm going to be in the fire then if I hop over there. Does that matter if I'm flying? Says Tile will light on fire when damaged, posing great threat to the unit. Do I see an alternative path? Uh, maybe. Maybe. We could do this, right? We knock him back. Uh... And then we fly to this spot and go over here. This guy will die. This guy will be at one. This one's going to die. This guy's not going to die. But then can I kill all the units on the next turn? That is the tough part. That seems to be the best way for me to do it without taking damage. Oh, I could even just hop down here. But where do I want to be on the next turn? Actually, I think here is actually better. Right? This one's going to die. That's cool. And then... Uh, I mean, he's lucky I'm a pacifist, I guess. But I have to be. I have to be. Am I missing anything here? Love that. Now, our pulse mech is kind of blocking a path there. There's a pretty good chance. Yeah, see? That's cool. He's going to stay there. Oh, he can't, actually. <laughs> we have to move. Uh, all right. All right. All right. What is... What was the plan? Now, we're unaffected by smoke here, which is cool. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, my rear smoke is going to damage that building. Isn't it? My rear smoke is going to damage that building. Right? Or, or, or does that somehow not damage buildings? Deals damage to enemy units every turn. Yeah, I feel like this would have taken the damage already, right? So maybe this is fine. Maybe this is fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> now this is interesting. How am I going to do this? I'm looking at at, at, at this. This is my, my, my uh, initial reaction. <sighs> this is going to be... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to swing this, man. Don't know. Let's think about this. What do I got? I could obviously, I could kill, I could kill here. That's, that's an option, right? This one's dead. That's cool. I could, uh, I could, <laughs> I can't stay here is the problem. Right? I can't just simply push this guy to the left from 
C4 to B4 because then I'm dead. That that's bad news. Um might not be possible, guys. We might not get this. We might not be able to get this bonus. But we might get the no damage and protect all the buildings objective, which would be sick. Or can I even do that is the question, actually. <laughs> um... That shield's not going to protect me. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. The tile's becoming water. It's not killing me. It's not killing me. It's just going to become water. And I can use... I can go in water. So, that's fine, right? So now, I bounce, right? I bounce this. This guy goes into the smoke. He's he's dealt with. This guy goes down here. He dies. Uh, wait. I might have to do some trickiness here. Oh, we might actually have this. Okay. <laughs> We might have... Am I, I might be big braining right now. So I go here and I hop over. We're unaffected by smoke, so that's sick. Then we pulse. No. Nay. We do not pulse there. Then we do the attack with uh, the rocket mech. Okay. It's going to kill the one in the front. This guy's going to go to one. This space is empty. We pulse. He goes into the, the thing. And he's going to die in the next turn. And then this guy's going to die. And I actually think we're killing them all. We might have done it. Dang! Perfect battle, baby! That was... Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty proud of myself. Pretty, pretty, pretty proud. That was excellent. Um, for some reason, whenever I see the environmental stuff, I equate it with instant death. Which I think is a safe kind of assumption. Um, but... The waves work a little differently. And I was I was thinking to myself, it would be so cool if I could attack and then move away, but it doesn't work like that here. So uh yeah, we're very close to a couple promotions. Funny enough, Ralph, uh the slowest of the group right now, but that's totally fine. That was pretty solid. That was pretty cool. Okay, so power grid is overcharged as well. We're at one on two. And then dealing damage with electric, electric smoke is going to start to stack up. And I feel like once I can get this range here, that's going to be huge. But we have a bunch of time to do that. I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love playing this game. You, you can probably tell because I'm uh, excited about it all the time. Um, I'm leaning here towards hometown, which is a shout out to a uh, YouTuber that was playing this game, I think, in like super, super early access. And the developers liked him and made a town after him. So that's really cool. Um, defensive shields here, which is great. We've got um, mines to kind of play with as well. We just need to protect the power generator. And we get power. So, like, I mean, yeah, that seems to be the way to go. Guys, we'll see you next time, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good one. And uh, bye for now.